No one particularly enjoys a rough ride. Besides avoiding convective activity, what else can you do to find the smoothest ride for the comfort of everyone on board? Mitigation against turbulence begins with good pre-flight planning by looking at winds aloft, turbulence forecasts, airmets, sigmets, and pyreps to plan a route around known turbulence, or at least to minimize time in those areas. Depending on circumstances, not all turbulence may be avoidable, but good pre-flight planning can be employed to find a route through the area of least turbulence. The turbulence weather product allows you to see different altitude levels and determine where there will be smoother or rougher rides. The feature will identify the potential for erratic movement of high altitude air mass associated winds. Turbulence will be classified as light, moderate, severe, or extreme at altitudes between 21,000 and 45,000 feet. Remember that turbulence is a forecast, not an observed phenomenon. A forecast is always advisory in nature. The turbulence forecast is meant to supplement airmets, sigmets, and pyreps, which are also available to you. On the weather map page, turn the airmet, sigmet, or pyrep on. In this example, we see that the airmet indicates IFR conditions. A sigmet exists in southeastern Louisiana and southern Mississippi and light turbulence is forecast at flight level 210 to the northwest and northeast of your current position. When you click on PyREP to the east of your position, a decoded and textual information box pops up. Turbulence is indicated on the PyREP's product through the following types of symbols, depending on the unit type. Selecting any of these icons allows you to view the associated report. The winds aloft data shows the forecasted wind speed and direction at the surface and at selected altitudes. Winds aloft are displayed using wind barbs or a wind streamline on portables, depending on the selected range and equipment. The wind barbs indicate wind speed and direction, while the wind streamline indicates wind direction with arrows. The wind barbs always point in the direction the wind is coming from, with the flags at the from end depicting the wind speed. A short wind flag is 5 knots, a long wind flag is 10 knots, and a triangle flag is 50 knots. Being familiar with resources to avoid turbulence is half of the equation. The other half is using those resources to plan a smooth route and then making the decision to deviate from a turbulent route when things are getting a bit rough. <laughs>